The roots of one Milwaukee band are in business. Over the past decade, its act has grown and so has its reach. As A.J. Byatport discovered in our Sunday morning spotlight, that's especially true for an important cause the band has adopted. The Milwaukee Toolshed Band has developed a distinct rhythm. This brings us to the secret weapon. Some of that comes from the ways it incorporates, well, Milwaukee tools into the music. Currently, the band strings together professional musicians and longtime Milwaukee Tool employees like Tim Brasher, the VP of Marketing. I'm kind of the band leader, if you will. Um, I'm the founder, original founder of the band in uh, 2011. When it began, the intention of the band was to strengthen the brand. It mainly played shows as a way to entertain clients and customers. What better way to demonstrate the strength of your relationships if you're willing to sing in front of them. So that's kind of why we started the band. Over time, the band grew in terms of both size and sizzle. Just consider it like seasoning on the steak, if you will. And he has all these things that make great noises and just brings the show to another level. On this day, the band is preparing to headline a charity event at the Solu Winery outside of Cascade in Sheboygan County. They're raising money for ALS research. The Milwaukee Toolshed Band has played more than 400 shows, but these fundraiser events are particularly significant. That's because Brasher has a very personal connection with ALS. I got a phone call from my brother, uh, who lives out of state, and he said, uh, hey, um, you know, got some news for you. I'm, I'm sick. Tim Brasher vividly remembers that call he got from his brother, Philip, in 2018. He said, yeah, I hit the, I hit the lottery. You know, that was his, his comment. He hit the lottery. It's like, uh, there's no getting out of this one, and it, it was ALS. And I'm like, well, that's, that's, you go into fighting mode, and um, it, it became, uh, you know, a, a point of, sorry, it's a, <clears throat> ALS, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a nervous system disease. It is essentially where the brain and the muscles stop communicating, uh, so people lose the ability to walk, talk, eat, and eventually breathe. The average life expectancy for someone diagnosed with ALS is two to five years. Philip died in 2021, nearly three years into his battle. That battle inspired the band to start playing ALS fundraisers in 2019, while this year's event is drawing donations for ALS research. I don't know. I don't know if, if we are um, making the difference. Brasher says he still questions whether that is hitting the right note. I don't know if, if the right thing is just to focus on research or just to focus on, on raising money to help those that are directly impacted. What I do know is that doing nothing is not an option. For the ALS Association, it's all important. Research to find treatments and eventually a cure, but also helping the approximately 600 people in Wisconsin currently living with an ALS diagnosis. We have a long ways to go, but there's hope. That hope comes in the form of three medicines now approved for treating ALS and the clinical trials underway to find more. It probably won't help me, but, but they, the data is going to help somebody. Andy Weicker hopes to be accepted into those clinical trials. The Appleton man first noticed symptoms in January of 2022. If I tried to tap my foot, my left one just wouldn't respond. It was like out of sync and it's something, it's like my brain couldn't talk to my left foot. A loss of feeling turned into a loss of balance. Last summer I fell about 10 times. I fell down the, the stairs at um, American Family Field out in right field, right down the concrete steps. Weicker was eventually diagnosed with ALS last November. I had to sell my financial planning business when I got diagnosed, so I don't work anymore. So I thought, in the time I have left, how can I be useful? We're not going home until we raise at least $100,000. The show has a clear goal. 
And when dealing with a disease that has no known cause and no known cure, the individuals have their own goals too. We just make the most of the time we have because at some point I won't be able to get around and I'll be stuck in a bed or whatever. So as long as I'm able to get out and do something, I'm doing that. This fundraiser meets its goal, taking in more than $120,000. For Brasher and the band, it's not just about the money. When you help others, it, it, it just gives you a joy that, that uh, will surprise you at times. It's the message it sends. Just seeing their smiles on their faces is payment enough. Enough to keep pushing toward the ultimate payoff. What I'm looking for.